Hello, esteemed viewers, and welcome to Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. Today's episode is part two of our program, focusing on the enormous environmental, socio-economic, and public health costs caused by a commercial pig farm located in Quebec, Canada. Animal agriculture has a severely negative effect on the air, water, and land, and all life that lives within these three realms. The livestock industry uses 70% of all agricultural lands globally, and nearly a third of the ice-free terrestrial surface of the planet. Virgin rainforests are felled to make way for pastures, which soon become permanently bare from cattle grazing. Factory farms generate enormous quantities of hazardous manure and other organic matter that are filled with pathogens and antibiotic residues that seep into rivers, lakes and seas. Livestock waste fouls the air with huge amounts of greenhouse gases. According to the paper Livestock and Climate Change, published in World Watch magazine and written by former and current environmental experts from the World Bank, Robert Goodland and Jeff Anhang, the livestock sector is responsible for more than 51% of all human-caused global greenhouse gas emissions. The industry also accounts for the release of 37% of all human-caused emissions of the highly dangerous greenhouse gas, methane. Miss Joanne Dion and her husband Tim Yateman live in the small town of Richelieu, which is located by the Richelieu River in Quebec. A factory farm housing 5,800 pigs was built in their area, and life has now become truly nightmarish for the couple, and the beauty of the land has eroded away. We now present further excerpts from interviews with Miss Dion and Mr. Yateman about the many ways this pig operation is seriously affecting their lives and those of others in their community. I was born here in Richelieu. My parents came from Montreal when they got married. They, they loved the river. They loved having the countryside in the back. We had orchards and cows in the fields and all kinds of vegetables and fruits in the backyard and across the road we had the river and uh, I spent all my life here uh, by the Richelieu River. In the summertime it attracts a lot of people that come and swim in the river even if it's polluted now people don't know and especially if it's uh, we've had a dry spell the, the water gets clear and some city folks still swim in the river it attracts a lot of people. A lot of people walk by here, especially when the, the sun is out, like today, and, and admire the, the view and the birds, and uh, it's very nice around here. So you, you love your town very much? Yes, my river is very important to me. Uh, swimming when I was a child was the thing I loved the most doing. I spent a lot of time by the river and uh, nature also is very important to me. I uh, have a garden here around the house and as you can see I'm surrounded by, by plants in my house. So nature, plants, uh, everything around me is very important to me. My environment is important for me. There are a total of four pig farms within the region surrounding Richelieu. The foul odors caused by the farms are so strong that people moving to the area may decide where to reside based on the intensity of the smell they are willing to live with. Quebec is the largest pig producer in Canada, and Canada is the largest pig produ producing per capita country in the world. So Quebec has a lot of smelly places, and people decided that they were going to start businesses to try to make money off the smells. But they made a map uh, which showed according to different wind directions and velocities what parts of the neighborhood would uh, be exposed to different smells. When the wind is south, coming down the river towards the north, okay, because this river runs uh, south-north from Lake Champlain, the smell will come from the farms which are basically on the Rishoy River uh, south of us, come up the river because it's an open water space and they just get blown right by the house here and you can smell it like crazy. According to a 2005 study on terrestrial ecoregions by the World Wildlife Fund or WWF, 
Some 306 of Earth's 825 known regions are facing threats from livestock production. Another analysis of the 35 global hotspots for biodiversity, done by Conservation International, reveals that 23 are now seriously affected by livestock production. What surrounds a pig farm is BD corn, practically the only crop that can grow into fields where pig manure has been spread is corn. It's mostly BT corn. So uh, we're surrounded by genetically modified corn. I've seen butterfly populations go down. I've seen bird population go down. I, I've seen summers when I, I didn't see any honeybees at all. I've seen other summers that I haven't seen any bumblebees at all. Uh, some summers I can see a few, they come back a bit. But like last summer, uh, I didn't see any monarch butterflies during the migration at all. After these brief messages, we will hear more about the severe damage caused by intensive animal farming in Richelieu, Canada. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Planet Earth, Our Loving Home on Supreme Master Television. Our program today focuses on people who live within the vicinity of a concentrated animal feeding operation and are suffering because of the tremendous environmental devastation caused by this facility. As an example, coliforms, a type of bacteria present in the feces of humans and mammals that makes water undrinkable, has been found throughout the community's water bodies and wells. Most noticeably, the local river has been severely fouled due to the presence of the pig farm. A summer camp in the area for children no longer lets participants near the Richelieu River. They used to bring them during the summertime, during the daytime. Uh, parents have uh, been opposed to that because they're afraid that the river is too polluted and that the kids can catch uh, infections by playing in a, a, the dirty river bottom. So that stopped. And of course, I, I deplore the fact that a lot of children now have all kinds of allergies and asthma, uh, something that I never suffered of. Is it the environment? Is it the pollution? You know, you have to wonder. The coliforms in the river here, after a rainfall, goes way beyond what's acceptable for swimming. Don't even think about drinking it, forget it. You know, it's much too dangerous, but even touching it, you risk catching a bad bug, definitely. Because the coliform count is so high. And that's not counting the pathogens and the herbicides and the pesticides, you know, and God knows what else. I'm at least 14 kilometers downstream from the, the pig farm. But still, after rainfall, I can tell you that the coliform count here goes way up, shoots way up. Health Canada, the nation's public health department, after studying cattle density in the rural areas of the province of Ontario in 2000, concluded that those communities with the highest concentrations of livestock had the highest rates of E. coli infection from 1990 to 1995. In Richelieu, the drinking water supply, which was once sweet and pure, is now contaminated due to the massive amounts of manure generated by the factory farm. In the neighborhood, as you already know, are anybody here well is contaminated? Yes. Yes. Can you tell us some more? Well, we didn't test his well. Okay, but his neighbor tested it, and we did determine that they had not just. Uh, coliform in their well, they had E. coli in their well. Hmm. What does it mean? E. coli is what can kill you. Coliform just gives you diarrhea. The manure is spread on the fields using an aerial spray and then pollutes the region's water as it washes into the streams and rivers and seeps into the water table following rainfalls. Ms. Dion believes that the act of spraying the waste into the air also sickens people as the wind disperses the disease-laden matter everywhere. 
But I must admit that I have much more frequent diarrhea in the springtime. Or when the water is dirty, when the river water gets brown. If I drink too much water out of the faucet, there's a good chance I have a diarrhea the next day. I went to uh, the uh, Journée Annuelle de Santé Publique and I saw a study about uh, people getting sick, getting diarrhea, living near either pig farms or uh, cattle farms. Years ago, Joanne Dion and Tim Yateman helped to create a group seeking to prevent the opening of the nearby pig farm. We formed a citizen group. Uh, we were 600 paid members, and we did everything we could to stop it. I mean, we petitioned, we had a petition going. We got a lot of attention from the media. We, uh, we were in, in newspapers, on the television. Though unsuccessful in halting the opening of the factory farm, today Ms. Dion and Mr. Yateman work hard to try and lessen the disastrous environmental consequences of its operation and strongly advocate for its closure. I don't see any changes being done and I, I'm still I'm still working at it. I'm I'm joining all kinds of committees and hoping to have people realize that it's important that we keep our waterways clean. Already we're depending on, our, on this river to have water to drink and it would be nice to swim in it, in it again. My husband called Radio Canada on a talk show and said that uh, farmers should be uh, inspected more and their uh, pollution should be checked more by our government. In conclusion, Joanne Dion sincerely calls upon each of us to avoid making purchases that support factory farming. It's very hard to make people realize that you can change things by what you buy when you go at the grocery store. You can change things by saying, I want this river cleaned up. I want to be able to swim in this river. Changing to an organic vegan diet is the simplest and quickest way to stop global warming and intensive animal agriculture, and is something that we can all do very easily. We thank Joanne Dion and Tim Yateman and the other brave residents of Richelieu, Quebec, for speaking out on the dangers the pig farm poses to their community. May all factory farming soon end so that our planet can be in balance once again and animals and humans can live in tranquility. Caring viewers, thank you for your noble company on today's episode of Planet Earth, Our Loving Home. Coming up next is enlightening entertainment following noteworthy news. May the light and love of heaven always be our guide. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash aw 